Hello, hello. This is Reverend Kathy Kuna and you're tuned on to Woman Without Limits. I want to let you know that nobody, nobody, not even the devil can stop you. Only you can stop yourself. And so you need to get out of your own way and understand that what God has put inside of you has got to be realized. You're a woman without limits, so don't limit yourself. Now, we bring you amazing, amazing people on set, and we talk about diverse things, and we let you know that people can come from very far, and God can take them to heights untold. That person could be you next. Today, I have an amazing couple. Oh my gosh. I met them. We've been watching them and I know you know them, but mm -hmm. I don't want to preempt. You'll see them in a short while. I know you know them. Amazing couple that are going to tell us their journey. So I want to introduce you first to Sun Misola. God bless you, Ma. Thank uh, you so much, Ma. Thank you're you. very welcome. Mm. And it's your first time in Kenya? Yes, it is. You've not been here before? No, we've not been in Kenya before. Oh my gosh. And her amazing husband, Yinka. I won't even try to mention the other name. He's going <laughs> to tell us the next name. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. So honored to be here. Amen. So Amen. And it's Yinka who, what's your next? Yinka Okileye. You see Okileye. now? Okileye. You see? <laughs> I, I tried, time. Mama. I tried it. You You're amazing, so. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. So you all are too much. I mean, oh my gosh, you're doing some amazing job. We see you on, on our platforms all the time Never with re new releases and doing amazing songs. Ah. You bless many homes. Glory to Jesus. May God bless you so much. So I want Amen. to start. I want to start with you, and I want to ask you, uh, Sun Misola, am I pronouncing your name correctly? Perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> where Where are you from? Who is Sun Misola? Before you now became this big person, where are you from? Uh, Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah. My name is Sun Misola. Elizabeth Agbebi Okeleye. And we and gave you another name. Wangoi. She's Wangoi, guys. <laughs> Hallelujah. Or Koi, yeah, you know. Koi, yes. yeah. So, um, I came from a family of um, six. I am the first child mm. of four children. Yes, I, I love Jesus. Amen. Um, I've known Jesus almost all my life. So my story is not the one of, oh, maybe I met Jesus in school or anything. I was privileged, or I am privileged, um, and I was raised by my grandparents. How yes. so? Yeah, because my dad was a businessman traveling, and then I had to stay with my grandparents, mm. yes, for about 12 years. 12 years? From yes. the time you were little? Yes. Wow. Yes, but they are both pastors. Yeah. And I would say that they are very, or they, they are like, the ones who have really contributed to my journey, my foundational journey, yeah, because they helped me know Jesus. Were they strict? Uh, they were loving, not strict, strict, strict. They were, they were more loving than strict. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. They were strict when they had to be strict. Right. It was balanced. Yeah. 
my grandpa is a soft one, my grandma is the sweet <laughs> one. <laughs> so I feel, I feel both. Yeah. And it, it was quite beautiful because I needed both of them. Mm. And um, I'm so grateful to God for them because I didn't struggle with my journey at the beginning. It was easy. Yeah. It was easy knowing Jesus because my grandpa goes to church every day. I am like, I'm his second wife. So I stay. <laughs> I stay with him <laughs> at the front seat with my seat belt, and then we go to church. Even when I don't want to go to church, I have He'll to go to you. church. Yeah. And my grandma, on the other hand, very supportive. Mm. I remember um, a particular time, um, a man from the church organizing the children mass choir told me, "Oh, you can't sing. You should join the mass choir." I'm like, because I didn't like to sing. You did not like to sing. I didn't like to sing. So, Missala, are you joking with us <laughs> now? <laughs> But it's the truth. What? I knew I could sing. Maybe that's why I was I was taking it for granted. Right. So I didn't think, oh, I should be in the choir or anything. Yeah. So when he told you, you were like, mm -mm. no, I was like, no, mm. I was just running away. Yeah. Oh I didn't want gosh. the spotlight. I yeah. Had children choir, they're always singing. Hey. I wasn't. I'm. I, I don't used to be bold. I think till now I'm very introverted. Yes. But God is working. On my inside, so and you've been showing on the on, you've, out there, you've always been an introverted person. Yeah, very shy. Very very shy. Very shy. Very shy. Yeah. <laughs> Left to me, I just want to be by myself. Really. So when he told me, I ran away. I didn't know he went to go and tell my grandmother. She said, "Oh, how much is the uniform? Send the money. By next week Sunday, join the riasa." That was how I entered my choir. It wasn't it wasn't something I wanted. Yeah. But so like they forced you. They forced me. But it was all God's plan. Mm. Yes, I remember the first time I led a song with the mask choir. I was around seven. Seven yes. years, like my grandchild. <laughs> seven years old. Oh my gosh! I and was, then you led. Yes, I led. I led the choir. And do you remember what song? No, I don't. I don't. Remember. It was praise and worship. Okay. So I led worship. Yeah. And there was a there was a very old woman. I didn't know it was even my grandpa that came to call me from the children class. Mm. So this woman has been sick for years. Our children sent her to hospitals. I think he shared it with my husband before. Mm. Sent her to hospitals for tests. It was getting worse. She had pains. She's old. Mm. So she used to have pains all over for about 15 years. Mm. And she said, while we were in that worship, she couldn't feel the pain again. And she's never felt relieved like that. All, when almost all her life. Yes. And I was this small. Seven. Seven. And then she said the pain left. She said the pain left. Hey. So my grandpa came to come in the children class. Everybody was just talking and I didn't even understand what it was. But I just, it was, I think, till now, what God wants is our hearts, innocence. I think, you didn't know what I didn't God even know. I just wanted to worship Jesus and Abba took all the glory. Mm -hmm. And um, that's how we started. I would say you officially started from there. So when they told you she's healed, yeah. you were just surprised and you moved on. I just, I was, I, I gave glory to God. Because I knew Jesus, mm. even as a young girl. Mm. But that also opened my eyes to say, oh, I think I have something. I, oh, I think I should take this more seriously. Yeah. I think I should not be joking around yeah, with and all of those things. <laughs> so I took Riasa more seriously. I took church more seriously. Mm. I, I, I took the gift he has given me more seriously. And your grandparents were encouraging you to do it? They encouraged me from the very beginning. So let's start, stop first and ask. You said you have you are, you are, uh, four children. Yes. So meanwhile, where were the rest? So with my siblings, yeah. um, my siblings are age differences mm. overwhelming. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so my mom tried for years after me and it took her, it took her, long years oh. so like daniel in my daddy my daddy is my junior brother eh? yeah, he's our the last boy. born eh? the only boy in the family stop yes the one is. you sang with yes my daddy my, my daddy <laughs> that's your baby brother that's that little boy yes. the one you said daniel come up yes hey, whoa. <laughs> that's your brother that's my baby brother so it took a long it time it took a long time a very long time Yes. And she was still trying. Yes, she was still trying. It took her years. Yes. Aww. So my siblings are like my my babies. Yeah. I love them so much. So they are so much younger than you. So much younger That's than you. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. But they were now growing up with your parents. Yes. yes. What was the, how was that? The gap? Was it uh, surprising? Uh, were you like, why am I with my grandparents? And no, no. no. So apparently, 
it wasn't like I was just with my grandparents, mm. but my, my dad was traveling a lot. Okay. My mom used to be the manager for UAC, that's mm. Mr. Biggs, when he was still in Nigeria. So she was quite busy, but she was always around too, just that, oh, she has to go to work. And she wanted my grandparents to properly raise, raise you me. To have, oh, wow. Yes. And, uh, and like you say, I believe also God. God is I actually the, God. The, the one who was orchestrating it because Everything. of where he was taking you. Yes. So yes. hold that thought right there. I'm coming back to you. Yinka, <laughs> mm. how are you, sir? I'm blessed. <laughs> <laughs> so blessed. So, so blessed. tell us, who is Yinka? Um, you know, can I tell you how I first saw you? Yes, ma'am. I was watching YouTube and I saw, you know, Thompson is my, he's my best friend. <laughs> Yeah, amazing. It's amazing. Oh my gosh, I would always just worship when I'm in prayer. He would be the one leading worship, leading me in worship, and wow. so you know, loved it. Then one day I'm watching, and he, yeah, session he, together, yes. And he introduces you, this is Yinka, and then you blew my mind totally, Kaya. completely. Jesus. You Glory blew it. Jesus. I was like, ah, so now I started following you. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. So I knew you before I knew you. Thank you. But before all this, uh, light and, and, and you know, yes, what God has done, who is Yinka? Where are you coming from, Yinka? Yes, ma'am. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, ma'am, for having us. Thank you so, so much. Honored and uh, it's beautiful to, you know, be in Kenya. Yeah, and, uh, Amen. Kenya is an amazing place. Yes. With beautiful people. So and you I'm see, there. God lives here. Yeah, You've he seen does. We've yeah. seen it. He really it's, does. It's clear. <laughs> <laughs> so um, my name is, my full name is uh, Okile Adin Kaolan Waju. Oh, uh, I'm okay, from... you just spoke in tongues. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you can okay, okay, was that's my son name. Yeah. My middle name is Olari Waju. Olari Waju. Yes. Mm. Then mm. my first name is Adeinka. Adeinka. Yes. So it's not just Olari Waju Inca. means yes. wealth increases. Yes. Yeah. Wealth increases. And it's really increasing hey. by the grace of God. <laughs> can you imagine? You Nigerians, that's the other problem. Yes. And they are not the other problem, they are the blessing. Yeah. You name very strong yes, names, but yes, they work. Yes. Yes. My name means shifts me to where my blessing is. Yes. Sumi Sola, to where my wealth is, to where yes. my blessing is. Shift me to where my blessing is. Yes. Yes. What? God yeah. is good. Sumi Sola. Yes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, and uh, uh, Adinka. So, but uh, for music, I'm, I'm known as Yinka Okele. Yeah. Yes, shut up and. People don't get to. It's easier to manage. You know, it's easier to manage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm I'm from Ogun State in the southwestern part of Nigeria, uh -huh. and um, I uh, were a family of six as well, uh, father, mother, then four. I'm the f uh, four, four, four children. I'm the second. Uh -huh. Yes, and um, I I studied sociology and anthropology in the university. Uh, I also did criminology for my postgraduate as well. And uh, uh, I work as a tax consultant as well, as a tax yeah, practitioner as well. Uh, in, which means, in, yes, in Nigeria. In Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I'm an accountant uh -huh. as well. Yeah, and, um, my husband is an accountant, amazing. so, you know. So what I like to say, um, <laughs> ministry is my main job. The other one is the side hustle. Uh -huh. Yes. So that's the side hustle. Yeah. The, the tax work <laughs> is the side hustle. Yeah. And um, I've, I've been, it's funny to say it, but, you know, I, I found Jesus through heartbreak, actually. Through heartbreak? Actually. Yeah, actually. Tell me now, actually. It's, it's, it's a funny story. <laughs> it like, is a funny story. I just, I just, I just, I was in a relationship. And um, so it was after my university days and, uh, I was in. Um, I was serving my nation. They called the scheme NYC, NYC. which is a National Youth Service Corps. Yeah, and, we have uh, NYS. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I was serving my nation in uh, the south and southeastern part of the country, mm. a state called Eboin. Eboin. And uh, my then girlfriend was in, um, I think, the western part. So, but I was a very broke copper. Very broke. Very broke. Yeah. Very broke. Oh my god. <laughs> and so, <laughs> Could you could not take to, her for coffee or anything. Honestly, I couldn't afford to, uh, to, to maintain the relationship. <laughs> so I was, so in, in Nigeria, we call it being served breakfast. Yes. yes. Okay. I, I don't know if when, you guys when, understand. When you're giving heartbreak. Uh, when you're yeah, being heartbreak, served breakfast. Okay. It, uh, wow. Sound, sound yeah. colorful. 
you know? Are you hearing? <laughs> so instead of heartbreak, it's being that, served breakfast. breakfast. Yes. So just so consume. That's yes. amazing. So I, 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 I ate the breakfast and it's all joy. <laughs> it wasn't uh, with joy. Really. <laughs> it wasn't with joy. It was with tribulation. Oh my God. It's more with tribulation. <laughs> oh my God. Why I'm saying it's with joy because then Jesus found me. Uh, and, uh, I count it all joy. So yeah. when she left, um, you now found Mama, Jesus found Jesus, you. Uh, through that heartbreak and you know, it, <laughs> God just just found me and gave me a hug. Yeah, I say my how did he find you? See, I see that you were broken. <laughs> yeah. Big, like it was a big hug. Yeah, I, so I used to sing, but just passively. And yeah, then people that were in my university and uh, secondary school days, when they when they see me, yeah, I'm like. Dude, hey. how how did you become this? Hey. But God is the one that is God in a man that makes him man of God. Yes, yes uh, right. No. Did you know? Did you know you could sing? I did knew, you? I knew I could sing, but it was just passing. Just really. passing, nothing. Not, I didn't think I was exceptional. Mm. Yeah. So there was a day when we we're supposed to lead. Um, what's it called? Um, uh, there's in in during the NYC, there's always devotion. Mm -hmm. So the person that was supposed to lead worship mm. was not around. So I was in front, and they were like, um, Sir, can you please just lead us to the person yeah, sing, comes. A, sing a song. Ah, and I just came out, hey. and I sang. And people were just trooping from, people that were calling, ah, come out for devotion. People were just, pa, pa, pa. They started filling up this, the place. Who is this guy? The Spirit hey. of God. I, like, I did not know I did anything. <laughs> and afterwards, so when we went camp, yeah. there was these few guys that were, I used to see them sing. They were amazing. Mm. I was like, man, these people can sing all day. Mm. Those guys, there were four. Each of them came and met me separately. That please, can you join our group? Eh? Oh. They and wanted I, you to be in their camp. I'm like, I was a fan of these guys. So eh, now these guys, they are admiring you. Admire like, what is what is this thing? So I can't. you didn't yeah. even want to I carry. Did not know, Mama. This was me still. Basking in this my heartbreak. was helping you so you don't get proud. <laughs> Glory mm, to Jesus. I love it. I was still basking in yeah. the breakfast that I ate. Yeah. And through that, they just made me, we fellowshiped together. I began to understand purpose, began to understand my calling. Yeah. And, you know, I, I always enjoyed, because there's this stuff they call uh, rural rugged. It's evangelism, mm. where we go to rural places and just, I enjoyed it. It was, right. it was exciting for me. So that was how I found Jesus and I've been born in since then. This is um, 20, 2012, 2011. 2011. And you were so then, young then. Yes, since then, it's just been going, getting better. Yes. And better and better. So and you're better. growing up like when you were oh. younger. What, did you ever veer off? Did you, were you doing anything? Uh, no, I was, I was, maybe I joined the choir once. Or Okay, so my mom, Yeah. my mom is a choir. She's, she sings. Okay. My mom sings. Mom so sings, I think I picked yeah. it from wow. there. Yeah. My mom, my mom in Abuja is still the music uh, um, minister, minister in charge of music. Really? In Nigeria, in Abuja, in Redeem. Oh. Yeah, she's the minister in charge of, uh, right. of music. So my dad loves God too. He serves in the. He serves. So you grew up. You grew up in yeah. church, basically. I, I, yeah. I grew up in church. It's basically. just that you were not like I was really not, yes, given. Yes. I didn't know Jesus. Personally. Personally. But yeah. You knew yes. your mother's Jesus. I knew my mother's Jesus <laughs> and father's Jesus. You know Jesus. most PKs. Yes. <laughs> yes. They yes. know their mother's God. Yes. Yes. But they, to discover him out oh or for my. him to discover you by yourself. It's been the best thing that's happened. The best experience. Wow. The best experience. So you are not a riotous human being no, I was, out there. I was, I, was, I was always a peaceful person. My eh, parents loved me. Never drunk and no, no. I mean, it's as eh, I've been no. as disciplined as I never drove my father's car. I never did any of those things Same until here. I got my car. I what? did not. I did not do all those things young people. Young used to people do, would do, like, yeah. Um, hey. um, skip school, what, what do all that. What people no. from? I, I, I had always been. Really? I, I did yeah, not I've never Jesus, done any of But I'd always been disciplined. Yeah. Basically. So you were disciplined even yes. as you were even, growing up yes, as, a, as a young I'd child. I'd always been disciplined. That's amazing. Yes. yes. So when you got heartbroken, you found Jesus. You loved Him. You held Him, yeah. and He ah. became your everything. He became everything and more. It became everything and more. So hold it there. Mm. So your grandmother now, you started singing in church. People, somebody got healed. You started getting this thing. How deep did you get? So apparently, I didn't still get a full understanding of maybe what I was going to do. I just knew, oh, 
maybe I, maybe there is something because I literally was a joker. I didn't take it seriously, seriously, but it just, I just was, oh, I think, I think, I think God has something to do with me. So it just made me devote time more to everything. You know, I was just doing everything because, oh, my grandparents are doing it. They are pastors. Yeah. Like he said, he knew his Jesus mom. Yeah. I mean, his mom's Jesus. Yes. So to say. So I was going to church because, oh, my grandpa goes to church. My grandma takes me along. But then as a young child, mm. I... I just knew, no, I have to, there is more, so to say. I just, yes. I don't know um, the kind of understanding I have, but I just know, I just know from a there's very, a there is a knowing. There's a knowing so deep inside. That's us. why I couldn't even do bad things. I couldn't even do, meddling. I couldn't do meddling. boy stuff. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I couldn't, I couldn't because mm. I don't know. It wasn't because, oh, I just knew this is not for me. Mm. I just knew this, this was not for me. And I think after then, I moved in with my parents. When, when you were how old? When? Um, I think I lived with my grandparents for like 11 or oh, 11, 11 years. years. Okay. 11 years. Then you moved now back yes. to your parents. So that's another different, sure. another different experience right. totally. Right. Because, okay, we've not really lived together yeah. all the while. So it's like knowing them. It's like you're learning, them. you're learning so each other. We're just trying to everything, mm. and um, I think it was necessary too. So I, I actually don't want. I actually want to say mm. God planned everything. Were you clashing? To, we're not really clashing, but yeah, I was raw. Or so refined. I was very unrefined, and I needed parental correction. Uh, I needed my mom and not my dad. Just grandparents. Not just okay, grandparents. Not just grandparents. You know, grandparents, grandparents will spoil. love you. Yeah, they spoil, yes. they love you. You can never do anything wrong. You can no, never no do anything Yeah, wrong. like, you know, so, yes. <laughs> you're always right. So, uh -huh. then I, I needed to learn. I needed to learn. And thank God. I thank God. And it was hard. It was tough. It was. It was tough. Because it's like a God. new thing altogether. Yeah, it was. It's like you're told, thing. don't do this. And you're like, I'm used uh -huh. to doing what I want. No, I actually was not even doing anything bad, bad, bad. Not bad. But we thank God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be bad. It yeah. it, it, it's like it's okay for you, but it's not okay yes, for them. It's not you know okay what I'm saying? Yes. So now that teaching was, was quite tough. It was tough. But it helped you. It, it really helped. Uh -huh. So did you surround yourself? Did you have friends who were rioters, who were out there? I've never really had friends. Eh? So I used to, at some point, I opened up to having friends. I think I, I shared with you. Mm. Because I don't really have friends now. I yes. just have oh, ministerial people. Not like friends, friends, friends. I, I tried opening up once. It didn't end well. Eh? So since then, I've not tried again. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's getting better now. Well, it's getting better. It's getting better. At least, because yeah. my husband loves people. Yeah. So... I used to not really love people. Oh. Yeah, because I went through some things to growing up. So oh. I didn't really used to love people like mm. that. But You were scared? I was just scared. I didn't want anybody to just hurt me and all of those things. But knowing Jesus made me also understand that Jesus was compassionate. It was out of compassion he did the miracles that he did. Right. He loved people. Right. He couldn't see them in pain. Mm. He couldn't see them troubled. So I have to love people if right. I love Jesus. Yes, exactly. So it made me open up mm -hmm. to people. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when did you start, like, as, a, as a, an individual, like, to, to realize, hey, I need to really work on this, this gift? Did you do anything else apart from the singing? Were you employed somewhere? Or did, you, did, you, did you go to school and how far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm mm. in school. But with, with, the, with the singing part... Mm. I served in some churches years back mm. before all of this. So I used to have a friend. So that was, we were like actually dating. Mm. And this person was my only friend. Your, your boyfriend? Yes. So you had a boyfriend that was your boyfriend. only friend? Yes, before I met my husband. Eh. And, but this person died. Eh? Yes. This okay, what do you mean? You are just pressing through until this person died. Yeah. What, do, what do you mean? <laughs> what? I'm so, so sorry. Huh, how long had you dated? Um, two years. For we were two friends. Years. And then, oh, we just liked ourselves. And we actually thought we were going to get married. 
So you are actually now dating towards marriage? Yes. What killed him? He was shot. Shot of where? He what was, are you talking about? He was shot um, in Lagos. By who? They robbed him and shot him. Walking, driving, going home. What? Yeah. But apparently, yes. So when I talk about the rawness, I used to be very unrefined. I will go back to that. Wait about the... Oh, mm -hmm. You'll go back to that. So I'm okay. going to link it yeah. to everything. Okay. So I used to be very stubborn. Stubborn? Yeah. Because tell us, I was tell us the meaning. Mm. Stubborn like... I like to be opinionated. Yes. I don't talk too much. Uh. But what I say... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, I, I didn't like to be, I didn't, I didn't like for you to argue with me. So I, I, and I don't listen. I used to be very angry. I used to be, I used to be very unrefined. And I was going to church that particular Wednesday, it was Wednesday. The church I was serving at in Lagos. And as I was alighting from the bus, I heard clearly, if I take Victor, what will you do? I heard it clearly. A voice? Yes. If I take him, what will you do? What will you do? And right there, my old self, I said, I won't serve you again. What has it done for you? Why would you take him? I would not serve you again. And I just crossed the road. He died and, and you're still serving and i'm still serving i Sorry. cannot stop serving hey, hey. i cannot stop good. serving yeah. so so when he died why what, what about the trauma were you traumatized that was why i found god again hmm. that was my my turning point my cave moment yes. to all of this right now hmm. because i felt that was it i felt oh this is it i have i have everything figured out oh once once i'm done this pa 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 oh this person we have plans okay our parents started knowing each other my dad we started talking and everything so i just i just felt in my head oh i have my life planned already so i i i, I there was no room for oh let god want to maybe god wants to chip in something i had i had made plans this person so there was no room for god nah. to come and tell you what he wants now nah. i already i already said I have everything figured out. You know, soon, Miss Ola, yes, this is already ministering to someone. Yes. Because that's the way we human beings are. Yes. We want to be in control of yes. everything. We want to know what we want and follow what we want. Yes. And we don't want to hear God. what plans God has for us. Yes. <gasps> we are so, so moved by what we see. What we see and what we want. And what we I want. want to get married to this one. This is yes. where we are going. And meanwhile, he knows that that's not even the person for you. Sometimes you even see that that's not the person. You even you. know. For your emotions. You even see something. Where do I start from? Yeah. Uh, do I, how, how do, do I, I live? Shame? If not this one, who? Uh, what what do not people say? One? Who? What do oh, people, people say? say. Mm. I've already told my parents. They already know we are... Yes. What do you, uh, 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 we just follow. You have follow. seen me post it online. Uh -huh. I didn't I, even uh, used to post it. So you just follow if, in spite of the fact that yeah. you feel that this is not it. So God is warning you, but you're like, no. So, Mama. So God took him. God took him, and in that place, there was a particular day mm. Mm. after he died that, um, so when he died, I was fasting that day. Let me even start. So when you say you want to hear my journey, mm. I don't even know the path to pick to tell you. Mm. Or the one this I This one you're telling is I very should. nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because more like God is rushing a lot of things on me. Yeah. But I like it. I love it. Yes. I like what the father is doing. I don't know doing. what he's doing, but yes. I like it. I like it. it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the day he died, I was fasting and praying. Because prior to when he died, where I told him, we need to pray. I sense something is up. Not even because of the voice I heard. Right. But I'm very discerning. So I said, I feel we should pray. I can sense dark spirits. I just feel we should pray. And that night, we're about to pray. But I think he came back from school that day. So his mom came to greet him. Mm. And then they talked for a long time. And then he slept off. For me, I prayed. Mm. He slept off. So we, we didn't pray together. Yeah. So um, after he died, mm. I mean, when he, the day he died, I was fasting. Mm. I was about to break my fast. I was, I was about to pray for myself and mm. for, pray for everything I was just feeling. And God told me not to pray for myself. Mm. 
No, God didn't first tell me not to pray for myself. You're I was scrolling Angie. Instagram. I was I was on Instagram. Mm. So I me to pray. Mm. I was on I was just scrolling. <laughs> but I knew it was necessary. Mm. I saw a lady in Nigeria. Mm. She lost her husband and she released a song. Mm. And I was like, God, how did this lady find strength to release song in this situation? Mm. So I left my prayers and I was praying and wailing for her. I was actually wailing and praying for strength. Mm. Crying with all everything, flames, yeah. tears. Right. Crying and wailing for strength for this lady. As I was done, it was the brother of that guy that called me and said he was shot. So I would say that all of the, all of the things I prayed for that lady yeah. was what God gave me. All of the strength I prayed for her. So I didn't know that I was praying for myself in these guys. All I did was to obey. Because right there, I felt a strong nudge to start praying. And I was just, I didn't pray for myself. Mm. I had not eaten all day. Mm. And I was just praying, Lord God, I pray for strength for this woman. I pray, Lord God, that you help her. I pray, Lord God, that you be all that she needs. I pray, Lord God, that she finds you in every sense. I was just praying for her. Not knowing not that knowing what was you needed happen. that strength in a short time. Mama, all what I prayed for, I saw. God gave me strength. God, gave, God, God found me. God gave me himself. In those times, one of the days, I was praying I was worshipping. I couldn't stop singing. I was in the bathroom. I was singing. My mom was there. Do you want to turn to a fish? Come eh. outside. Eh. Come and dress. I was just singing uncontrollably. In the bathroom? In the bathroom. Hmm. And I went to my room. I couldn't stop singing. While I was singing, God entered that room. I felt God inside the room. And I fell to my face flat. And you know when you were in church and then you're, you're having impartation service mm. and then you're being ministered and you begin to manifest. Mm. I was literally... I was literally... It was more like things were going out of me and things were coming inside of me. More like an exchange. Oh my goodness. So it was an exchange moment oh, right there. In my the bathroom. In my room. So I, I was done Shall taking my yeah. bath. I had gone to my room yeah. to dress. I couldn't still stop singing. I was just singing and praising and everything. Mm. And I felt it was too much power in that mm. room. I've mm. never felt it before that time mm. before. Mm. My mom had to run because she, she felt something strange. She had to run. Are you okay? I didn't even listen. She had to run back. She could not contain what she was seeing. Yeah. She could not understand it. Right. And from there, this fire started. This Jesus that I know, that is the most precious person in the whole world. So it came out of pain. It came out of pain. A painful situation. Painful situation. That introduced you to who God was. Jesus. And it's so beautiful that it was not too long after that I met my husband. I'm coming. I'm coming <laughs> there. I'm coming. So here you are, you are in serious pain. Yeah. But God is really revealing himself to you. Yes. Here you are, you are in pain as well. Yes, sir. Because somebody hey. has, has given you breakfast. Very similar, uh, you know, mine is not as um, deep. But I, <laughs> but, I, but I like the breakfast <laughs> part. Know, I, so I you say <laughs> that you've been given breakfast. Honestly, a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> so by the time, so tell me now how all this has will round up into you meeting each other. Yeah. So are um, you seeing her? Is she seeing you? Are you eh? is there anything flying anywhere? Enough, I think while she was going through a change process and a pruning, I was so the first relationship that I met Jesus was in twenty twelve. Yeah. So let's forward back to twenty twenty one where um, towards the end of the year where she had where she experienced, uh, you know, and mm. this is me again experiencing another, another breakup. Another breakup. Like, oh, why understand. did you always tell me breakup? Hey. God is good. <laughs> this is me married now. She's asking, why are you good. always, why did you always have? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and the truth is, from every relationship, I didn't think anyone was at fault. Mm. But I just think, you know, God needed his son to manifest. To God me. loves me so much. Yes. yes I had to, come, you know, on. come on. Come on. on. <laughs> yeah. You know. I agree. So this particular one was um, towards the end of the end. After the whole um, incident, I was like, Jesus, mm. this 2022. Yeah. It is you it's and me. me. And you. Yes. Hi. <laughs> woman, I'm not looking at woman again. I don't again. want to forget it. Little did you know. Yeah. I do not. So... He was, he was, Abba was looking like, say like this. <laughs> Jesus was just looking at me as, as if this boy. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> this boy has no idea. Yeah. He has no idea. You are making your plans. <laughs> you are making your plans. And see, so I and Victor had, so our, our, our session that went 
um, went very um, uh, that went out and was you know seen everywhere. Yeah, was recorded in October of 2021, mm. but we released it in January of 2022. Mm. So it was it was me moving in from that 2021 and saying, okay, Jesus, it's me and you now. Yeah, and me and Victor we released that sound and. It just started to... So it was more like... It's the God one that went my viral. Prayers. It's yes, the one that went, it went viral. viral. Mm -hmm. But another one later. Yeah. So it, but that was the one, me and Victor, and that was the first long, spontaneous session mm -hmm. yes. we ever did. Yes. And it, it was, was spontaneous. About two, yes. It was, Victor invited me over to his house. He said, okay, because he used to do this. Okay, we invite people. They'll just do one song. Yeah. So he, he called me. I was in, I was in Benin Republic that time. Mm. I, I went for a holiday. And it was like, um, man of God, Show now, let's do something. Mm. Victor is amazing. Victor is mm. amazing. Yeah. So I was like, ah, definitely. Oh, yeah. And we got there. Mm. What song should we sing? Yeah. I was like, let's just worship. Yeah. We set the camera. We did not even know the first song to sing. You I just, just started, started with, flowing. If you don't help me, where else can I go? And that was it. And we're there for 20 something. What even caught us mm. was the producer. Mm. It was like, Eh? I say, but uh, the, the, the storage for your phone, not full. <laughs> <laughs> so that was what made us finish and end it. And it ended 21 minutes. Yeah. Nobody had done a session for 21 minutes before. Right. So we did now that. Now you do hours. Oh, now, hmm. now. Kaya. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, and Victor was like, okay, ah, bro, man, this session fire out. This session is amazing. Oh. Yeah. He, was, he listened to it when they were done with the mix. I was mm -hmm. like, I think I will need to put this out. I'm like, ah, brother, we are mm. here now. Yeah. It's not to bless lives. Yes. And we put it out. All of a sudden, everywhere. It's pa, pa, yinka, pa, yinka, 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 including yinka. Kenya. That's how I everywhere. saw you. Mm -hmm. That's how I saw so, you. So, Mama, I was excited. <laughs> I'm like, wow, Jesus said my prayer. Eh. So, does it mean that I needed to let woman go before eh. I began to manifest? Eh. You needed. And I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Because your eyes were looking the oh, wrong Mama. direction. Eh? Mm -hmm. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> So I was fully see your wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was fully priding myself in ah, thank you. Yeah. So Father, you really wanted me to leave women and just focus on you. Yes. Now I am all yours. Needed you to leave women and, and have a woman. Yes, yes, I, yes. I, yes. I, I second. <laughs> so that I was beg. so we started getting a lot of ah, uh, we're everywhere. Mm. Everywhere we go, people recognize us. Ah, uh, then we started doing back to back. Right. Ah, uh, come again. So, February of 2022. Mm. We are talking a, 2022. I, 2022, my mm. mother. I slept. Mm. So, I had seen a video before. I've seen, I'd, I'd heard of her. Or I didn't, I'd not even seen a video. Yeah. I'd heard of, ah, okay. But in an audio. In an audio. So, but I felt, ah, we, this person we, we does a lot of... We didn't even know each other. Uh, I didn't even like him bronze. like that. <laughs> because I saw a video. Like, he was wearing a cap. He looked very... So I, the people say oh. I look older in there. Uh, in videos. So, nah, I, I, nah, nah, nah. But I'm happy I look younger in person. This is too much. No, no, no. You have <laughs> met the look, love of your life. Come on now. You got it. Take it. <laughs> Take it. So, you know, and I was like... I love this. I slept that night and I woke up and I dreamt of her. Yeah. Eh? And I'm like... The one mm -hmm. you just had. Yes. I'd, I'd heard maybe a few months before. Not even Right. Recently. We didn't even know each other. We didn't know each other. I was but me, I've seen a video of him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like... You, you just I passed. Just you like just Because passed. it was acting too... Uh, uh, too, uh, <laughs> too, too, too deep. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like... I, I, I like that. In the dream, I saw her sobbing. She was sad. She in was, the dream? Yes, in the dream. I've never met her before. And she was sad. I woke up. So most times in Abuja, I have my musicians always in my house. Yeah. They are, I, I like them around. Yeah. Just, you know, just that big brother feel. Yes. And... I woke up and I'm like, ah. Who's that? I went on IG. Eh. I said, I didn't even know her name. And my husband is a dreamer. Eh. Like, I don't joke. I, 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 I don't I dream. joke. I dream. Eh. God He's talks gifted. to me. God talks their to dreams. Him. Like, he is. And it's spot on. Yeah. So I was like, ah. So I started to. So that was the first time mm. I went on a page to listen to her. And I'm like, I started watching. Ah. Mm. Okay. Eh. Ah, this person can sing. Go. Eh. Okay, I now stumbled on one song by it. So I was like, amazing. Eh. My so my, my musicians now came to the room because yeah. I'm hardly in the living room. Right. I'm always in my room. 
if I'm not going for administration, if I'm not going to the office, mm. my office is like three minutes walk. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes. And you didn't I, mention that we're not even staying in the same state. We're not staying in the same state. I yeah. was in Abuja. She was in Lagos. Yeah. That's like 12 hours drive. Right. Yes. Yeah. So I was like, ah, who is this? The next my guys came into the room. I was like, guys, oh boy, I had the weirdest dream about the lady. They were so happy. Eh, ah, boss is talking he about has woman woken now. Up, this uh, boss. <laughs> You know, and they were like, okay, who is the lady? Everybody started stalking her. Okay. Meanwhile, you don't know you're being stalked. She didn't know. Didn't she know. was... I was still in... I was still feeling pain. Yeah, she was in pain. Oh, so I was like, yeah. okay. And they were start stalking her. I'm like, ah, but this baby, this baby is single. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see what happens. The next day, I woke up. I got to the office. I went back to her page. Yeah. So I was not listening to one of her songs. I was listening to one of her songs. Strong man became weak. What are you, know? you looking for? <laughs> Strong man. So there was one of our songs. I just did a real, a real, a, it, um, I just did a video of it, listening to the song. Right. Then tagged her. I did, I, then I followed her. So the next thing, she was like, thank you, man of God. She replied, eh? the, thank you, man of God. Then she followed back. Eh? I was like, oh, you're so, you're such a blessing. Thank mm. you for Saying, you know so the way we men of, of you God. Are just you know the way we. I wasn't following. I wasn't talking God to him. After <laughs> that, I didn't talk to him again. Because I don't reply men. She didn't. So I just saw that. Oh, and I acknowledged, but I didn't. Yeah. I didn't uh, text just, him again. So you did I not just, feel any goosebumps. She did not feel nah. no. No blood because my anointing. Man, no blood I, I've seen a video of him about four, and I'm like, this man is acting. With my anointing, she's not move. Nah. Stop it. <laughs> she was in the flesh. She was, was, I was in the flesh. <laughs> I'm serious. You're in the flesh. I was moved by my emotions. Guys. And I was in pain, so I she wasn't was, thinking of... She was not thinking, yeah. yeah. I, I, eh? yeah we forgive her. It's, it's just the pain. We forgive you. Yeah, yeah. You know, and joy has come. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, after that, yeah. I, so I would DM her. I would just... I was just trying to... Uh, so who is this woman? Yes. I, I, are she you feeling just, sparks? Are there sparks she now? Just, she go just give me one answer. Hmm. I said, who be this one now? Uh. <laughs> so, me and Victor, we had a recording. <laughs> so, I was like, man, Victor, get one, get away. So, Victor introduced me <laughs> to my husband. Yes, he did, actually. So, how did you meet with Victor yourself? No, I've known they Victor, known like... Since the last time they we've met. met we, we've been together four year, five, five years before then. Yeah. No. Three years before then, yes. we yeah. were together in a program, competition. a competition like that. So I've known him. He's like an Egbon. We used like to go home brother. together, like big brother. Like big brother. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey. So when he called, that I'm now like, Egbon is calling. So I just picked up. I, yeah. I just told him. I said, brother, oh boy, this again one girl where they think. I just they think of this girl. I can't think to get out <laughs> so of my mind. Of a woman. <laughs> they were like, they've never hey, heard me talk about woman. Oh boy, oh boy. They've never oh, heard me thinking. talk about woman. Hey. So it was like, ah, his wife was like. I need to know Inca. what for Inca to be interested in a lady. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> and Victor was like, who is the girl? Hey. See the girl, Pedro. Hey. I was like, this one. Now my friend now. Uh. Uh. said, let me call her. I said, Jesus, brother, help uh. me, help your brother. But you know Victor would try to be smart. When he spoke to me, he told him that he didn't tell you that he knew me. I was uh. here in the living room. Now, now I know. Now I know. Now I know. On this woman forgive without us, limits, us, we have discovered have. many things. Mama, as in. <laughs> we have discovered <laughs> When we want something, we go all all out. All out to people. Course. Because people did not think I could fall that much for someone. You fell oh my head God. fast. It Everything was on the ground. Because there were a lot of things were going through my mind. Eh. Why was this lady sad? Eh. Why was a lot of things were just in going through? I dream. was going through pain, so he saw it in I the street. He didn't dream. even know I'd, I'd lost someone. So I came to pacify her in the dream. So I was like, ah. so. Victor told her to please respond to him when. Ah! As just told me oh, like Victor, that. I just, Victor told her. Victor, Victor told, told her. you. Victor that responded. she please well. respond. Oh my. Mama, I ah. gave it like two hours so that it does not look suspicious. Ah! Yeah, it was two hours. Man of God. I just sent the message. I said, please, can, can I have your number? Eh? Two hours. Two hours. Mama, I, I and you are boiling. Mama, I, it was not two hours, one minute. Eh? Two hours on the door. <laughs> and it's two hours of boiling. Like, okay, okay, we're close. <laughs> you know, and so we got, so she responded. I started to talk. Eh? But she was still mean. We got, we were, yeah. But I was like, okay, but at, least, are... at least I don't get the number. We'll keep trying. That, you did, know. You, did you know that this is the girl? I, I did not know first. Yeah. 
So it was as we got to this, the bone just became stronger mm. and stronger. And mm. I felt like I was, I was face flat. I, yeah. I could not, I could not go an hour without not thinking of her. Like she was everything that beca beclouded my mind. Hey. Everything. Jesus was fast though, but yeah, yes. she, was, she was cheaping me. She was trying to, like, my guy, <laughs> you know, but, you know, and she was trying to compete she with was, Jesus. Can, can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> so, so, I, I, so we got to talk. Then I now found, so this was where everything, I, I, I became sad again. <sighs> Then I, we're not talking. And you I, asked your I friend, asked, Laura. So why I, did you become yes, sad? I asked one of my friends. Yeah. Because I said to, because I wanted to do my due diligence. Okay, Victor has told me, okay, do, do you know this girl? Mm. Do you know this girl? Mm. I asked one of my friends. She just mm. got engaged. Yeah. And it's Laura. And I was like, what's up? Ah, Pastor like, Laura. Mm. Pastor Laura. She was like, ah, um, nice. Oh, but, ah, man, you just be careful because, because I told her, I said, it's someone I like now. Eh. She was like, eh, okay. And I told her, and she was like, ah, you be careful because she just lost someone. And it was not, it's not even up to like two months ago. So it's fresh. Ah! I was like, Jesus is Lord. I called my croc too. I told him, uh, my croc is my producer, is, a, is our producer as well. You call him your croc? Ah! Uh, and this like, man. Bro, I, oh, I like this. I was uh, like, Kai. Hey. He said, no problem, Sha. You be you're my man now. Mm. I was like, ah! As that my friend told me. She lost her best friend. Hey. It was, Mama, you remember that ad break, that breakfast that I ate that time? Yes. It just the came, breakfast. it was like five. <laughs> I was like, Jesus. So the first thing I felt was not me being hurt. The oh, first Lord. thing I felt was her heart. Because I'm like, Kai, how do someone Die. lose someone that is yeah. precious to them? And by death. By death. Yeah. Like, it was short. Ah. Hey. So that's, so I was like, so that was my first pain. My second pain was like, ah, nothing for me, yo. <laughs> bye, bye. Uh, it was nice meeting you, but you know, <laughs> and it's not gonna work. It was, uh, not gonna work. Yeah. Bash.
we just began getting closer. We got so close that I met her. I, I now flew in to Lagos for her birthday. Uh -huh. That was where we met officially. Mama, that was another. Mama, you can imagine when stop two it, people. No, stop I must it. stop this one. Stop. Mama, uh -huh. you can imagine when two people are in love. Yeah. The excitement oh, when I see you. Yeah. We cannot kiss. That place. I will cannot... hug you. Yeah. <laughs> I will hug the Lord. I will hug Jesus in you. Mama. I came from Abuja as a fresh boy. Hi. <laughs> she told me she had rehearsal. I went, that's oh my God. We most of the Mama, I went there as a fresh man. Oh. I, I, was, I was so fine. This yeah. is too much. I was, I, 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 my cord was Somebody help me. Mama, I came down from the car eh. to see the love of Ma, my yes. life. Why are you making this sound even Oh yes. my God. Eh. Mama, the love of my life saw yes. me like this. I was like, oh, eh. welcome. Thank you, sir. Oh, my.